Hey everyone, welcome to Bloodborne on the PC. You might be like, Mr. Sketchhead, what the fuck are we looking at? But if you are staying up to date with uh, the latest Soulsborne content, you know exactly what it is. Um, we're gonna get into the details here, but let's watch this wonderful cutscene here. Them textures. This is... <laughs> I'm already liking this. So yeah, to get into the details of this, this is a fan-made PS1 inspired version of Bloodborne. Um, and it's super good from what I've heard. This has kind of blew, been blowing up in the Souls community. Uh, let's go for a classic. Who's a classic? PS1 character Spyro because why not um, so yeah th this is a completely fan made game a PS1 inspired version of Bloodborne this is not the whole game uh, I think it covers about the first half so like the Yarnum part of, of Bloodborne from what I've heard and honestly I'm just gonna go ahead and say uh, go, go and get this because who knows when they're gonna be hit with the unfortunate cease and desist. Uh, so yeah, I would say I would say get this while you can. But just the the level of attention paid to this is absolutely insane. Oh, you're adjusting the red green. Okay, I was like, what the hell is going on? No, Spyro is purple, so let's go with that. Cool. Uh, yeah, it's absolutely insane. This is one of the most faithful sort of PS1 remakes I've ever seen. Uh, it's really kind of crazy what a... F <laughs> oh man. It's really kind of crazy what fans can accomplish when they like really put their their mind to it. Uh, yeah, let's stop wasting time because this is PS1, uh, so the looks are not going to be the thing we're going for. What do we have? We have the usual Bloodborne uh, classes. Let's go for... I want to go for Blood Tinge. Which one has the Blood Tinge going for it? This one, Noble Scion. Yeah, let's go for that. I mean, after all this time, people have been bitching about P uh, like the PC not having Bloodborne. Here it is. This is just so incredibly faithful. <laughs> Those pixelated sort of like jittery textures. But other than that, like gameplay wise and general sort of game flow wise, this is still going to be Bloodborne. So it's it's not a complete remake of the game. Well, I mean, it is a complete remake of the game, but not in a sense that the gameplay is touched that much. <laughs> I love it. And you know, the interesting thing is like Bloodborne is totally a game that could have come out on PlayStation 1. It, it totally fits the PlayStation 1 vibe uh, with kind of the horror-ish aesthetic. Obviously the system was way more limited and that is a very cheery looking wolf with these textures. She's just having a good time. Gonna get the messengers. Oh, holy shit. Well, there are a lot more. They're a lot more terrifying. Straight out of Silent Hill. They just hopped over. Do they have red nails as well? It looked like they did. 
By the way, some of this, I'm, I am going into this blind. Obviously, I saw some little clips of this, but I've tried to not spoil myself. Sefka's clinic. And believe me when I say this game is faithful. Look at this. The analog sticks don't do shit. You know why? Because the original PlayStation 1 did not have functional analog sticks. Oh man, the movement. Uh, yeah. Ah, oh, the movement is genius. Look at the menus as well. <laughs> Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider 1. That is such a Tomb Raider. Holy shit. Like feeling menu. Uh, but what was I gonna say? Oh yeah. See, the thing is, that's how you do the camera. With L2. The thing is that... I did not grow up in the PlayStation 1 era. I'm not that old, believe me. However, my uncle did have an old PlayStation 1. So whenever I visited him, I played with that because we only had PC at home. Listen, if you go if you grew up in a good Eastern European household, you'll know that PC was the way people went. Uh, very few people had sort of like consoles here. Oh shit. What the hell? It was all about that PC Master Race stuff. Uh, so it was a novelty when I went over to my uncle's house and he actually had a PlayStation 1. Oh. Interesting. It looks like they are throwing some new stuff in here, because obviously this was not in Bloodborne. But we can edge along. Um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, so it was kind of a novelty. Of course, later on I got a PlayStation 2, and because it was backwards compatible... Oh shit. You have to equip. What did it say? Did I miss the... Okay, was I stupid? Select cycle items. Hold on a second. Right hand weapon, left hand weapon, head, body, quick item. The key ring. Yes. It's the red key from The Binding of Isaac. Straight up. Oh God, the menus are gonna be kind of a nightmare. I forgot how convoluted PlayStation 1 sort of menu systems could get. So yeah, later on I got the PlayStation 2 and I, I got a couple of PS1 games, mainly Spyro, uh, considering the fitting name. But you know, I always had fond memories of playing the PlayStation 1 in my uncle's house. It did have the controllers without the analog stick, which is why I knew like, and the games felt exactly like this. Like, exactly. Down to a T. The one I played a lot was The Fifth Element. Which was a pretty shitty game, actually. Uh, this is really interesting. Bullet Transfuser, what the hell? Oh, this is the thing that you... I bet you... Yeah, because it's all on the analog stick. I mean, on the D-pad. You can't have the... The thing that reloads your bullets. Holy shit. Say, so, yeah, the fifth element, that was a shitty game, but... Just the feeling of it, man. It was exactly like this. This, this werewolf is gonna notice me. I'm not gonna be able to, like, mad sneak past. No, of course not. What the hell? Jesus, I got blasted by the <laughs> fucking Bloodborne first werewolf. Shit. How oh, that load screen. This is just gonna be like, again, it is sort of hitting the, it's hitting the nostalgia, you know, 
nerves a little bit differently for me because again this wasn't my entire childhood but it was a large part i mean games on pc weren't much better either uh like tomb raider was something i played a ton of when i was a kid and that was that had this like general vibe and that's the reason i don't have it full screen because you can actually set this game to proper like uh hd resolution but why would you want to do that like just ba breaking yourself out of the immersion at that point oh god this is so good yeah core mechanics remain the same what was that some of us don't charge atta uh, charge attacks yeah 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 wait what was the strong attack oh hold partial yeah because of of course it's really interesting interesting manually aim firearm okay okay you have the jump as well I was gonna say yeah we'll need to figure out how to lock on to <laughs> this is so good <laughs> oh and it Look at that, the thing, it has like a little insight. Oh man, this is... This is absolutely wonderful. This is so good to play. Alright. What do we have? Saw cleaver or the threaded... Oh, we only have two. I'm gonna go for the saw cleaver this time. You know, normally I'm on the... Yeah, I'm gonna go for the pistol. You know, normally I'm on that fucking... Uh... Hold on. <laughs> hold, hold on. Wait, wait. <laughs> uh, wait, wait. Oh, shit. Hold on, let's think about this. We have the saw cleaver. Equip. Did I equip it? Yeah, I did. Then where is that bullet transfuser? Yeah, traits have... I knew that was it. So we need to... Hold on, I'm like really thinking about this. No, because we need to go down here to quick items. And put that here. Yes. And then the blood vials... The blood vials go there. The bullet transfuser goes there. So how do we cycle between? Oh shit. Oh, it's select. Yeah, they told us it was select. Fuck. That was some dumb shit moves from my part. Alright. Let's go back. Now we are well equipped. That werewolf ain't gonna stand a chance if I just figure out how to lock on to him. I didn't look at the time when I... Oh, it's just X. <gasps> they did it! They fixed my fucking... Oh no, 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 what, what am I saying? I got confused. You could always save at the thing, yeah, with Bloodborne. Never mind. Eat shit, bitch. I mean, it's bloodborne feeling. Uh, that's definitely how it is. Yeah. It's dead. All right. Uh, fuck. I de equipped it, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Hold on just one second. Uh, this... And then you... <laughs> I love it because PS1 games, again, did have a habit of being sort of convoluted like this. Like, unnecessary amount of menu divings were needed for 
like accomplishing very small tasks. I think Resident Evil, prime example. God, that jittering is so... Because that's how it was. I don't know what exactly caused that. Yep. I knew that. <laughs> and you know, like, w this is such a great idea. Um, and honestly, it kind of came at a perfect time because I've been wanting to play Bloodborne. Uh, but I didn't have anything in mind in terms of what build to go for, whether I want to do a challenge run or not. God, look at this. And the little run, <laughs> like run into the distance to load a new area. The PlayStation 1 did have about this many load times. Uh, way slower than this too. Central Yarnam. So yeah, I didn't really have anything in mind. Uh, so really this, it's not even a mod. This remake couldn't have come at a more appropriate time. I really, really, really hope they don't get this shit, like, taken down. I don't know how FromSoft and Bandai Namco are. Uh, generally, Japanese companies tend to be pretty sort of strict on how they think about copyright and all that. Uh, they're not big on fair use. That's what I'll say. Whoa! Okay, that's you can center the camera. Oh, do they? Oh, the enemies disappear into blood piles. Yeah. Uh, so I'm really hoping that this either stays under the radar, which I don't really think is gonna happen because this is getting mad hype. Like every streamer and their mother is playing. Ah, uh, he died before. Okay, whatever. Like every streamer and their mother is playing this uh, right about now, including the boy, as in me. But I don't know. I'd still say grab this while you can, sort of cautiously. Okay, I'm gonna convolutedly try to switch out the thing to the Molotov cocktail. Excellent. Now we gotta cycle through. Still wanna be on health. There is no way to quick climb ladders. That wouldn't be that wouldn't be fitting that, that animation though. <laughs> Look at the tower. That is a texture for you. Oh yeah, Final Fantasy VIII is another one of the games that had this vibe. Like there, not all PlayStation One games had this vibe. Uh, cool. No, we're just gonna save. Um, but a lot of them did, again, Final Fantasy VIII is a classic. Locked. Wonder if the dude is, yeah, he is. You must be a hunter. And not one from around here, are you? I don't remember if PS1 had voice lines of this quality, as in like the sound fidelity. This is so unbelievable. I can't believe this actually happened. Oh, what a bro. Um. Oh, yeah, of course. Why would it? Why would everything have voice acting? It's just a waste. I mean, this does, the reason you see the thing flickering, the the letters flickering, um, I do have some filters on the game itself. So there is some like extra artificial PlayStation 1 in S added to this, but I didn't want to, like, you know, I wanted to experience it as is default. I didn't want to fuck around too much with the options. Yeah, let's get going here. 
those transitions went to the loading screen. And I know, I know, like, the sole novelty of this is that it's PlayStation 1-esque, but first of all, I think the level of sort of detail given to this is very admirable. This wasn't developed by a big team. Um, I think it may have been one person, but I don't want to... I don't want to spread fake news, you know. How do you have a attack like that? Did I? Hmm, I killed him. I was going for critical, but whatever. So yeah, I know that there is probably people who didn't grow up with this era of gaming do not understand what the fuck all the hype is about but believe me people who did this is some dope shit <laughs> yeah definitely I don't think the PlayStation 1 had voice lines that were this like clear this was about the time when games started having like proper voice acting, but I don't know. If you probably couldn't tell, or if you couldn't tell, it's been a little while. You can totally jump to that. It's been a while since I've played PlayStation 1 games, believe me. Then the question is, do we jump back up? No, you don't. Oh, what would a PlayStation 1 game... would? would what, oh, God, I can't even talk. What would a PlayStation 1 game be without clipping through the fucking walls? One thing I've not figured out is how you switch between the... If you can even switch between the two-handed version and the one-handed version of weapons. So I'm not sure you can. There's going to be the big dude here. Oh, what the hell? It's just a hunter NPC. That to totally would have been or should have been a parry. Uh oh. I was gonna say I'm gonna get <laughs> I'm gonna get fucked up. Surprisingly I did. You turn into bong smoke too. It's okay, I I was smart enough to get the shortcut unlocked. I mean, there's nothing to worry about. Technically, the actual Bloodborne isn't much lighter on the load times either. Okay, there's no well, no way to quick climb. I specifically remember when Bloodborne initially came out on PlayStation 4. People sort of bitched about the load times taking long. definitely was a thing back in the early days but then they just like optimized it all so there's no problem <laughs> I like how you have to go through an area transition so either way we have two load screens to sit through uh, when we die and there's my blood stain Shit. Pick that shit up. Heal. Oh, the tracking. If I go back to regular Bloodborne after this, I'm gonna. Oh no! Shit. I think it's time to do a quick edit. I'm gonna shoot this little bitch. Okay, get my blood stain. There we go. Log back on. No, don't, don't lock off. Shit. Got the controls. Shoot this bitch. It, keep trying to fucking <laughs> lock onto him with the analog stick, forgetting that it doesn't work. 
I'm going for a backstab. I don't think so. God, it would be nice to parry him. No fucking way, he healed. That should have been a... Okay. So, NPC hunters are just as big of a bitch. Oh, he got confused to fight in this game as in the actual Bloodborne. Is the Crow Hunter gonna be? Or the Double Gun Barrel Hunter gonna be here as well? Not sure. Yeah, turn into Bong Smoke. Sweaty clothes? Damn, that's all we get? Okay, fine. I think we already got sweaty clothes. Uh, no, we have the foreign garb. Okay, how, how do you do this shit? Uh, rumpled hat, sweaty clothes. I think, I think the foreign garb looks better than the sweaty clothes. God, how do you switch weapon stances? Uh, let me just check. Saw cleaver. Hmm. Unless you can't. But I don't. I don't see that being the case. Hmm. Not sure. Not sure. Because I was gonna say that the the area with the angry mob is coming up. And for that I'd like to have the other version of the weapon. These stairs. Fuck. I was gonna say, does it just lead... Oh, fuck, please don't die. Okay. I'm gonna go back up and kill them. I don't know why. I have bloodlust. Yeah, and that's just how it is. This is Bloodborne, we show no mercy here. See, this is what I'm talking about. I'm sure there's a way to switch targets. But I've not managed to figure it out yet. It's probably this is a good tactic to stay locked off. Yeah. Gotcha. No, you're no. I did not get you. That is a lot of damage. I'm sort of running out of blood vials, which is a little bit concerning. I'll say that much. We're coming up to the main square just about now. I like how it's possible to sort of generally tell what each area is. But it still very much has its own unique vibe going. I know this shit is rearranged a little bit and sort of condensed a little bit. Oh shit. I sort of didn't want to go to a new area. Interesting question, do enemies stay dead between areas? Guess we're gonna find out right about now. Okay, here we go. Yeah, they do! Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. And I'm gonna get killed, too. By the way, if you are liking the video, or enjoying the video, make sure to give this video a like. It really helps out. I'm gonna mention it, because... 
You know how it is, that YouTube grind. Okay, I sort of didn't want to fight the angry mob again, but... I don't have much choice. I'm gonna get killed if I'm not careful. God, does this feel like playing standard Bloodborne or what? I'm about like that low on blood vials. Like when I first played Bloodborne. This is what this feels like. Like you completely have to... Oh shit, it's a dead end. <sighs> That's the draw distance for you. I should have just trusted my instinct that this was the way to go. Yeah, you do have to completely relearn because playing, honestly, playing anything other than fighting games on the D pad feels weird. Even for fighting games, only Mortal Kombat feels somewhat natural. Is that a fucking. Oh, that's just a lamp. It looks like some scarecrow or something. And there's quite a few doors that do not open from this side. Now this is like actually a new area. Oh, it's an inside skull. We need that insight. Oh shit. The crow. <laughs> the noise it makes. Yeah, again, I think, I genuinely think this is working so well because Bloodborne already feels kind of PlayStation 1-ish. Not, obviously not with the graphics in it or anything, but sort of the, the like general vibe. I should have paid more attention to the tutorial when they explained how to switch between targets because I straight up don't know that and I definitely see or think that there is a way it's just I don't know it the inside <laughs> yes crush that skull oh okay okay I was gonna say we need to try that are we actually gonna open one? Yes, we are. Cool beans. I'm gonna attempt to somehow navigate myself back to... Well, actually, it wouldn't make sense to backtrack here, uh, depending on how far the next bonfire or lamp is. I call them bonfire everywhere, so... Just ignore that. But if it's really f like far, this might not be the smartest choice. Hmm. Or take that path. Okay. We're gonna have to play the hit and run game here. Let's see, even then I might get my ass kicked. You definitely can't attack as fast as you can in... I don't think you are gonna do that. So you definitely can't attack as fast as you do in... Oh, come on. In standard Bloodborne. Because there you can like, see after two swings, there's like a little pause. So you gotta account for that. That definitely. That hella looks like what? Get shot. said get shot don't tell me those stagecoaches didn't look like something you could hella jump on oh fuck am I out or mana 
Okay, I've not been paying attention to my bullets. I legit thought, nice, I had a bit more. Cool. Looks like it's Backtrack City. Please, okay, well, we're not gonna go too far on one bullet, but... It's better than nothing, I guess. Okay, so I was wrong in the sense that the game is pretty significantly rebuilt in some ways. It's not, not a negative, I'm just saying. Uh, I was under the impression that it's talked more to the original. Again, I'm just pointing it out, because this is... If you can't tell I'm, I'm having a good time, well, you should know that I'm having a good time. This is... Again, definitely bringing out the kid in me. Why did I not see that? Of course it's gonna be not opening from this side. What do you think? God, I could use a lamp right about now. That would be pretty tasty. Game, you know. Ooh. Yeah, okay, that was stupid. It's not too far of a track from here, though. The question is, are they giving us all these shortcuts? Because they want us to go back? It sort of feels like it. They're like, hey, there's going to be a big fuck you monster here. Uh, and you should, like, head on back. Because we have insight now and everything. Oh, this is the main, like, big town square. I guess if we think about it this way, the um, limes are probably going to stick pretty close to the original layout. So I'm going to try heading back. It really sucks that I forgot to start a timer because I'm an idiot. Uh, but I think think what I'm gonna do is I will wrap up this episode of Bloodborne PSX right here. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Thank you for making it to the end. Uh, oh shit. Some pro parkour. Yeah, thank you for making it to the end and I will catch all of you next time because this is going to be a full playthrough. Like, I what the hell was that? I knew from day one that this was going to be a full playthrough. Like, how could it not be? I'm really, really hoping I'm going the right way. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Take care and peace out.